Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cat Above with Chris. Going for a head shave, I have been out, had my face shaved this morning using the same soap, which is going to be Grace from Talbot Shaving. Cracking shave this morning. Very minimal amount of irritation on my face, mainly on my neck, but other than that, I had a cracking shave, got a little bit of redness. I always have that. But I'm going to be using it for my head shave now. It is quite a firm soap. I've left this out to air from this morning, and you've got to really give it a good push to sink your finger into it. The scent is wonderful. It smells very much like freshly washed laundry. That's what I get from a really nice sort of floral laundry detergent. It's really nice. It's beautiful. Now, I'm going to be using my commission, sort of commission brush from Tony Forsyth, TF Custom Shaving Brushes in Australia. Like another cut above brush with Tony's logo in the middle there. And this is Phantom Nebula. It's a beautiful cast. This was a shape that Tony just made up for me. He made two, two of these brushes. One of them is in the wild with a giveaway winner from, oh God, it must be two years ago now. And I've got a 26 mil black and white synthetic. It's not a, it's not a tuxedo knot, but it's very similar. It's very soft, but there's more scrub to this and way more backbone. So let's get it wetted, wetted. Wait a minute. And stick it straight in the sump. I'm not going to load this too heavy because having used it this morning, you don't need a heavy load. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm now going to rinse the soap out. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> the choice of children drive you fucking nuts. Right, I've got my load done. I'm just going to wet my head. <clears throat> so it was a very short load. I don't even know if it was 10 seconds, to be honest. That's all that's in the brush. And here we go, we'll just paint that on a little bit. In fact, let's just splay one. Now, I got copious amounts of lather from a relatively short load this morning. So I am expecting plenty of lather from that short load. So that's extremely dry. You can see that it's literally just like painting paste on there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to splay the brush a little bit. So I get looking like that. And then I'm going to sprinkle some water on the top. Probably just a little bit more than that. And then watch the magic happen. I've got two days growth. God, it's such a nice scent. I shaved the wife's legs with this this morning as well. Run her a nice bath. And it just filled up the bathroom with this really nice, sweet, floral, almost perfumey, cologne type scent. Really nice. Now, I did react to this first time I used it. Well, I believe it was the soap, at least. However, I didn't react to it this morning. Very, very minimally. And it may even just have been razor burn, in all honesty. So you can see this is a... I hardly loaded this brush up. And yet it needs a shit ton of water. You can see that growing this was very very kindly sent over with three other soaps and a sample from Jack from the virtual room room if you haven't checked this channel out check it out very similar to me in the sense of he says it as it is if it doesn't like something it doesn't like it there's no beating about the bush with it It may look a lot like on my channel, like I like everything. God, look at this, it just keeps going. Where do you stop? In fact, I'm going to stop there because I don't think I need it any thicker than that. That looks really hydrated. Really glossy. You can see it there on that little blob there, how glossy that is. It's a wonderful soap to work with. The actual soap base itself, it feels incredible on the skin. Right, the razor of choice for the head shave is going to be the Leaf Razor from leafshave.com. This thing 
it's taken me a while to get used to, but I'm really, really impressed with it. It's quite ergonomic, it's heavy, but you can get a good grip on it. It's long enough that you can get a good grip. Now, I've got a couple of gripes with it. The main one being the finish. Now, I look after my razors very much so, but I am finding just for some reason, I don't know why, and why it happens in specific areas, like, right there, can you see that? A little bit of lighter silver. There it's there. See it right, right in front of my ring. The coating just seems to disappear on bits. I don't know why, I can't quite put my finger on it. There's another bit just there, just next to this bit here. See if I can get that to focus. No. No. The other thing I've noticed on this one, I can't quite pinpoint them, but there is a couple of little bubbles on the finish as well, where it's actually bubbling off. So I've definitely got an issue with the finishing. It is a nice finish on these razors, but that's a, a bit of a gripe that I've got with them. They're not super cheap, but they're not super expensive either. Three blades in here, as you can see from that. I've got three blades in, I've got three vintage blades, the same three from last time. The thing I love about this razor is, even with three, four, five days growth, I can go straight against the grain with it without any real issues at all. Look at that lather, stunning. So here we go. I think in all honesty, and I like the way it holds the ladder. It just seems to collect it all in that big V, you'll see it when I shake it out. That big massive triangle there holds onto the ladder. It just works really, really well. Now, of course, it's not foolproof. It can't really get this top part of my ear because of the, how close it is to my ear, but I can get pretty close going that way. As mentioned in my other video, the Leaf Razor, or Leaf Shave, are releasing a new twig razor for those said difficult areas. Under the nose, top of the ears, behind the ears. One will be stainless steel, and the other one will be aluminium. No, sorry, chrome plated zinc. I think it was zinc, something like that. Zinc alloy. You can see how it just holds the ladder. There's no messing about with it. That's exactly what you want. Now I very rarely get, well, oh, seeing that, I never get a BBS shave on the first pass. But with this, with a bit of practice, a little bit of patience, I get pretty close. And like I said, the two days growth, it's not like I'm knocking down a day's growth in one go. It's, it's two days, it's a fair amount of growth. Even for a balding guy like myself. I'm just going to add a little bit of rope around I mean, that. I've got a little bit of hair there. It's a little bit above my ear, tiny bit there. And everywhere else is practically BBS. It's really. I'll just show you now, you can probably see the back. There's not much left there, I don't know whether there's any blood, but I don't think there is because I just, it's so intuitive, you can put a bit of pressure onto it, it doesn't really dig in and hurt. Right, I'm going to do above my ears with the car Christopher Bradley razor, stainless steel. This is a beautiful razor, feels great in the hands, it's got a lot of heft to it. I'm going to use it for the top of my ears and just behind the ears. Now, I was going to use a feather blade today. I pop this feather open. Look at the amount of shit on that blade. Look at that.
turn it over. There's no fucking way I'm putting that on a razor. I've got two packets of feathers left. I'm not fucking using that. That's an absolute disgrace. Look, it's sticking to my fingers. Is that much wax? So let's pop open a treat platinum. There's a new setting I wanted to use on this camera and I can't remember what it is now. But apparently it focuses in on smaller objects and moving things and stuff like that better. So I'll load that onto the top cap like so. Place the base cap on there. What have we got on this? B plate. Pretty much my favourite plate. And then I'm just going to re-lather just because I can. And you can see from that very small load at the start, the quality of this soap really is excellent. Now for this pass, you don't really need any anything other than slickness. So here we go, I'm just going to touch this up. Nothing there. There is a little bit here. Let me get this right. There we go. It's baby smooth. Like it's not. You can't. You, you'd hear it if there was a lot here. There. A little bit more on this side. And then nothing. It really is. The leaf razor has really grown to be. A top quality, classy shaver. It works really well. Look how bright that shirt is today. It's really bright in the camera. Obviously, it's pure quality, even though we're shit. And let's just finish off now. I don't really need to shave everywhere else, but. I think the surprising thing with this razor is I expected it to be jumpy. I expected it to sort of struggle on the head because the pivot on it, it's not the strongest of pivots, it's got quite, quite a soft spring. So I thought it would be too weak. But what it does is it gives you real, real good control of the razor so that you you don't push too hard, you push hard and it bends, I mean it's it's really easy to bend and there you have it hold up, did I just miss a bit? no, just, I mean that's BBS, that, that's phenomenal thing about Talbot shaving soaps post shave is phenomenal it's absolutely top draw I've been really impressed with it even with the shave when I had a bit of irritation it was still top draw post shave so even though my skin was a bit red raw it was a bit sore but after sort of an hour or two and the redness died away it was phenomenal and it's one of those post shaves that you just keep feeling You've seen how short that load was. It certainly was enough soap in there to do at least three passes on the face. At least. Oh, it's 
just it smells so nice as well and not a single bit of blood can always be a little bit rougher with the synthetic on there right so the soap for the head shave was Grace from Talbot Shaving now this does have palm kernel oil, that's what I think is palm nut oil, I don't know whether palm nuts are what people whinge about, or well, not whinge about, but they're in danger or whatever they call it, but it is a very good set of ingredients, it does have lanolin in there as well, and tallow, so it's not a vegan or vegetal base, that scent's phenomenal, it's so good, oh, poor shaves, it's just a really good soap, it really is top draw soap, the brush was my Tony Forsyth custom, the 26mm black and white synthetic. Just a beautiful brush. Phantom Nebula. This is actually cast, this resin was cast in Western Australia where I live by the master caster. So he cast that one. The leaf razor, there's not much more to be said about it. I love it. It's, I'm moving away from cartridges altogether. That was part of the reason of doing this traditional shaving. I brought cartridges back into my life. This is eradicating them. So whatever cartridges I've got left, including the head blade, will all start to slowly leave the den until I'm just left with, hopefully, as close to environmentally friendly products as I can possibly be. The razor of choice for the top of the ears, which will hopefully be replaced with the twig from the Leaf Shave Company, is my carve Christopher Bradley. 3.25 inch handle with the B plate solid bar 0 0.73 blade gap I think and then I had a treat platinum blade in there which looks like that comes double wrapped very good quality blades I find them quite sharp very smooth these are extremely sharp reasonably smooth and covered in fucking glue useless just you know just sticking my fingers already other than that, what a crack in it, Chief. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.